will work around another example that will show you how to work with function parameters. The names entered in the function at a time of defining it are function parameters. So adding parameters to a function is optional. Okay. Let's see how we can learn about it using an example. Here I'll create another file. Press enter. So to understand we will create another example. So I'll create a demo function again. Let's say I'm printing device, device name. Okay, so herein I added device and herein I added the value which we have added as a parameter now. Okay, so this is our parameter. I told you function parameters. So under function we created a parameter and we are printing it here. But you would be wondering where are the values? We'll be passing the values while calling the function. Okay, so I am calling this function just like I did in the previous program. Herein I'll just pass the values. Okay, that will get printed here since it is a function parameter. For device, let's say a laptop is a device. I'll just write laptop and when the function call will occur, it will take this value here. So string will be having laptop and it will get printed here. That's it. Herein you can see device laptop printed. You can add multiple values here. Now let's say I added desktop. Then I added mobile. Mobile is also a device. Right click and run it. Now three values will get printed. Okay, laptop, desktop, mobile. So we learned about function parameters in this example. So we pass along the values here and printed it using the str variable.